for hey guys welcome back and if you are brand new then thank you for joining us we hope you will enjoy our video and if you would hit the little subscribe button that would be amazing yes and so today we're going to talk about the v room yeah the the benefits of a v lounge what would be good yeah so specifically the london gatwick v room some of the benefits will obviously be the same benefits at different airports yes probably quite a lot of them yeah but we have only experienced the london gatwick yeah um so to start off let's just kind of go into what it is um, do you wanna? Yeah, so it's a lounge in the airport, um, and they got them has got a fair few lounges, different ones. I think yeah, I can't remember what they called. I think got the um, number one lounge. Yeah, Gatwick one. I think it's number one. Yeah. Um, so it's different different lounges. Um, basically, it's a part of the airport where you can go if you're a Virgin Virgin Atlantic. Um, customer well it's virgin holidays to um benefit from the Vir the v lounge you have to have booked your entire holiday through virgin yeah, yeah. what's really nice because you you know in that lounge is only the virgin customers mm -hmm. um so the prices for the v room do vary um there are obviously pre-book prices and then on the door prices yeah so we've just got them run down i'm just gonna have a sneak peek okay so the Basic package um, includes soft drinks, your hot food, we'll yeah. get into all of that in a little bit, but the pre-book price is £20 per person, which is amazing. Yeah, well we paid 24 with alcohol. Yeah, so the the next up package is 24 if you pre-book, yeah. and then the standard package is 22 if you book it on the door kind of thing. Yes, yeah, and, it, and I, we definitely made our money on that. I think so. Yeah, um, um, go on. So <laughs> we just want to talk through some of the benefits. Um, briefly with you. Yeah. Uh, do you want to go ahead with something? Okay. What the biggest benefit for me is, and I think it's worth the money just for this alone, is the premium security checks. Okay. Um, it's a different part of the airport, and you go through a different line for security, um, and it's so much more quieter. It, you not you don't feel rushed through security. Um, what I think it's well worth just twenty four pounds just for that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's definitely worth it for me. I suffer with a little bit of travel anxiety. Yeah. I know I've mentioned it before. Um, this year wasn't that bad, but some sometimes it can get quite bad, and um, I have like anxiety or panic attacks. Yeah. Um, but the security, doing the what is it called? The premium the security. Premium security um, you don't really have time. Which is a really, I mean, I know it sounds silly, but you don't have time to work yourself up in the queue. You're literally in and out, and yeah, that is it. I think there's, there's more staff to one person, per person either. Yeah. yeah, what what make it a lot easier, and you, you feel like you have you got more time to you know take about off, take your shoes off, and all that, and you not don't feel rushed as much as yeah. normal. What's really nice. And I think don't, if that's all you get, I think it's just for the. But it the isn't money. all but you it's get. Not what you get no. um, so the new V room is on the upper level of the airport terminal. Yeah. And um, that's where I think most of the lounges are. Yeah. It looked that way anyway. Well, you had upper upper club as well. Virgin was next to it, um, and they had we walked past uh, um, Gatwick one. Yeah, there were a few down there. There yeah. was one that anybody could go to. I remember mentioning that one looked nice. And yeah. um, so I assume the benefits are similar with whatever lounge you choose. Yeah. But specifically, um, this fee room. So the way it's laid out is kind of like it's a big square basically. Yeah. With seating along the window, they've got like a little restaurant kind of. Yeah. <clears throat> um, with some like. Pastries and fruits. Yeah, and simple yogurts. breakfast. We had egg Benedict, didn't we? Yeah, so they've got a hot counter with a yep. chef that serves you there, um, like coffee and alcohol, alcohol and juices. So the alcohol is included in the not in the standard. It's in the upgraded. Yeah, the twenty-four pound one. Yeah, um, but that was your basic alcohol, so beer, yep. basic spirits, things like that, um, which we did. <laughs> we, well, we had one drink. We you didn't take to. advantage it's, it's, of it. It's a holiday, so you have to. Yeah, so the views <laughs> from the V room, they were pretty good. Yeah, no, really good. Um, <clears throat> you can see the, the runway, over the runway, and see a plane take off and land. Yeah. That's really nice to get you in the mood of it. Um, you also got free complimentary Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. What's really good if you want to play on your Sims or whatever way you're waiting. <laughs> Jan says that because I've been playing Sims yeah, and stuff. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> 
But um, you also got soft pay for your, the, the, your kiddies as well, so that's really good to keep them amused. And, and a teenage area with like Xboxes and foosball and yep. all of that kind of jazz. And a photo booth that I really wish we'd have gone in, yeah. but we didn't. No. So. There's a service desk as well, um, so any queries you got about your holiday or your flight or whatever, they can sort that problem out, any problems that you might have as well, mm -hmm. involving going to a different part of the, the airport. Yeah, and they let you know before your flight and they tell you how long the walk is. Yeah. Um, so, like, they tell you as soon as the gate is opened and how long the walk is so that you know if you have to leave right away or not. And you can also, if you're one of those people um, that needs to be the first one at the gate, <laughs> that's not really us. I don't understand that, no. But if, <laughs> if it makes you feel better to be the yeah. first person there, if you just let them know, then they'll let you know and Absolutely. you can head over there. They'll yeah. be super helpful. The one thing I will say, the customer service in... Well, all Virgin, but Virgin V Lounge um, was fantastic. And I heard someone, the Vir one of the uh, staff, said, "We won't let you miss your flight if you sat in there. We, we make sure you know your flight's going, or yeah. was on time, or delayed, or whatever." And and you got um, TVs all right. At the, so you, you know what, what's going on all your time, you can't miss it, really. Yeah. It was really good. Um, so the, the fun thing about the new lounge as well is they have these kind of canopy beds. Oh yeah. We yeah. didn't make the most of them because we were They're pretty tired. Yeah. Well they, they did clear as we were in there but we were pretty tired and I was kind of worried I'd fall asleep. <laughs> but they're basically double beds. Yeah, no, they're really good and they've got like a charger point as well. So yeah. You can charge your phone app or your iPad or whatever. Yeah, so that looks super fun. Yeah. Um, and also another great benefit, Definitely a benefit from for us was that you can do the Alamo car check. Oh yeah, of course you can. Yeah. Um, in the V room, which is amazing. It saves you so much time yeah. when you get over to Orlando Airport or wherever you're travelling to, because you literally walk through. They give you your keys basically, yeah. and you get in the car. Well, it's, it's like an iPad. All you all it is, you just checking in mm. like you would do when you get when you go to Orlando. You just follow your stuff out, and it's all done before you get there. So you're saving. A lot of time when you get to the other end. Yeah. Um, and you just got to wait anyway for three hours, so you might as well do it then. So. Yeah, and John just just said briefly, you can get into the the V room three hours prior. Um, if you're in the airport anyway, then you can go in and out. Yeah. Um, as long as you've got your boarding card. Yeah, but they, they're so good. I mean, we went in and out. I went and bought a, a jacket, or whatever. But um, and we came back, and they recognise you, so you didn't even have to show it because they yeah. know you're going in anyway. So they so you're on the board. They know what you're doing. Yeah. So I mean, we did have one. It's not even a negative, but we did have <laughs> one. So we were kind of talking about the V room, and then I thought about we flew um, Virgin to Barbados a few years yep. ago, yep. and we used the V room over in Gatwick South. Yes, we did. And. Yep. I think, like, the the North Terminal V-Room is nicer in style and, like, the options are nicer um, and, like, the canopy beds, they're really cool. Yeah. However, the South Terminal, when it was there, the layout of it was different. Yeah. There was more comfortable seating, I think, <laughs> which yeah. they might have substituted because of the beds, but there were more, like, they weren't sofas, but, like, small chairs. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think... The, the shape of a south terminal was better than the shape of the north terminal. Yeah, so the seating in the north terminal is kind of corridor-ish, isn't it? Yeah, and I think it done that for a reason to make you feel like it's your own your area. Yeah, like you've got a little nook. Yeah. And I think the view from the south terminal, I know that they, they probably can't help this at all, but the view of the planes from the south terminal was better than the view of the planes from the north terminal. If you've been really critical, yeah. Yeah, that's it. We are, and the south terminal, I'm not even sure if yeah. it exists anymore. I don't think it does. But just in, for a quick comparison, and if you've done the South Terminal and you haven't done the North yeah. Terminal, in style it's nicer and the service is nicer and personally I prefer North Terminal, it feels smaller. Yeah. I think which it's a bit more is nicer for exclusive, me. What, what's really nice. Yeah, um, but the airport itself feels, yeah, the, terminal the terminal itself stuff. feels smaller, which is a benefit for me because of the travel anxiety yeah. or whatever. But that was the only, like, it's not even a negative, the only comparison we can make. Yeah, that's all it is. I think it's different shape. It, it, I think the north, the south terminal felt more open planned rather than the north terminal feels a bit more enclosed but I think they've done that for a reason to make you feel yeah, maybe. like it's your own your space rather than open up open space but we've been really critical mm. and I definitely feel like it was worth it yeah so I was just about to say like for me 
I, I mean, I could live without it. Don't get me wrong. We could go to an airport yeah. and live without the V room. But especially with like my travel, I feel like I would have had more travel anxiety if we didn't have that sit down. And you know, it's only breakfast, and you can have breakfast anywhere. But having your little space that Absolutely. you can go and sit in and you know no one's going to bother you and you yeah. can get on your phone and play on your phone yeah. and you can have a walk around it just made me feel a lot calmer and it probably made my trip a lot better Absolutely, yeah, and, and that saying that as well but you also got the, the Virgin staff on hand because we had a bit of a problem printing out our confirmation for the car Yeah, and they were on hand and they went and done it for us no problem at all so just having someone there that know what you're talking about and you can ha get them easy and you can have a coffee and breakfast and alcohol, whatever. It's, it makes it so much easier and I think it's definitely worth £24 each. You know, just for yeah, and a lot of the time it's included in um, yeah. Virgin. Well, not a lot of the time, but some of the time it's included in Virgin. I think most promotions. of the time it is. We've always had it yeah. included, but I don't know if it always is. No, I mean, I think a package deal maybe, but we don't know. We always have it, like you said. So. Yeah, but if you are wondering which lounge to use and you have booked through Virgin, or if you've got it free and you're just wondering if it's worth it, I definitely would say yes. Oh, absolutely, definitely, yeah. It definitely tends up to, um, 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah. yeah, so that's it from us today. We hope that this video has been a little bit helpful, and if you do have any questions about the V-Room that maybe we could help you with, pop them down below in the comments. Absolutely. We yeah. hope that you will stick around if you're brand new and watch some more of our videos. A lot of them are Disney based, some of them are kind of lifestyle yep. fun videos. And yeah, that's it from us, and we'll see you in our next video. Absolutely, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Take care.